Oh, and there's no triple, of course. Oh, and there's no triple, of course. Hey, what's up, dudes? My name is Paris. Welcome to uh, more tutorials and Call of Duty shit. Today, we're uh, looking at how we can upscale your old clips, probably from like your old gym back in the day, recording with the old Hawpog PVR. And we'll be using uh, Topaz Video AI today. And thank you, Alan, for making the tweet and having a bunch of people message me asking how to do this. <laughs> uh, so we'll just jump straight into it. Um, obviously, you would have seen a couple of examples at the start of this video. Um, so this isn't like complete magic. You know, you'll vary depending on your clip and your bit rate and all that stuff. But Topaz AI is great. You can upscale to 4K. You can do like you know like flow flow frames increase the fps and all that good stuff but for now we're just focusing on the main thing it does which is upscale so i have a really old clip here of the old five man msr i'm just gonna drag that in there i had this years ago 2010 some shit like that 2013 somewhere around there and um yeah so you drag your clip in here and there's a few things that we need to do uh before we get straight into it uh we need to go file preferences and we'll go to down to export and we'll make sure our encoder is on H264 profile high GPU whatever GPU you're using bit rate I prefer a constant and then you just set the bit rate to 180 or maybe a little bit lower than that I usually just go for the max to get the best quality uh, audio mode convert for the most part and if you go to directories directories um, you can choose where your folder exports, which is this top one here. It's just going straight to the uh, desktop for me. So now that we've got that all sussed out, we can jump into it. So presets, um, I already have made a preset for 1440p because I find that's what uh, usually gets me the best, but we'll uh, make a new one so you guys understand how it'll work. So we'll go to input here, we'll go edit, not edit, sorry, my bad. Uh, we'll go custom resolution the output and then we'll change the width here to uh, 2560 I believe it is and it will adjust all the other things so you see it's going to scale about 200% we're going to keep the frame rate original but you have a bunch of different options here I personally haven't played with this yet um, maybe I'll play with it one day but I generally don't really I just deal with the 30 FPS clips that I get sent it's it's fine it's not the biggest deal um, and then we'll go down to enhancement I'm not going to mess with any of this other stuff here we're just looking at enhancement so video type progressive pretty good and now the AI model is sort of up to you um, I personally find that the first one is the best one enhance MQ that's definitely the best one um, and you've got your little timeline down here you can scrub through it you can preview hit this preview button if you want to increase the amount of time that it previews because it's default to two you just hit the little tab and you can choose those you give it five seconds because you only need to see a little bit of the clip to really you know notice and You've got these brackets here, you've got mark in, mark out, these two on the left. And you can just choose where you want the clip to start. So I could like have a start here and then and I could have it end like, I don't know, somewhere down here or something like that. And when you do this, it does take a lot of process power from your computer on your, the old uh, GPU and CPU. So these will take, depending on how long they are, they will take like uh, two, three, four minutes, depending on your computer. Um, but that is pretty much it. Then you just slap the export button. You can also change these settings down here where it says H264 and you can just double check everything. You're on high NVIDIA, constant bitrate, audio's looking good. You can change the MKV, MOV. Um, it's great and it's really simple. It's almost like a drag and drop process, but I know a lot of people wanted a tutorial for it because they learn by watching a bit better. Um, I may or may not have a download for this in my Discord. You'll have to go join the Discord and find out. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick little tutorial. I'll show you how this clip came out at the uh, at the end here. I'll see you next time. Well. Well.